Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to make um, these um, petal sleeve. You are seeing right there on the thumbnail and on the, on the dress form here. So I'll just share with you the tips and tricks to making this sleeve. Actually, I added crinoline because I used them um, a peplon. Uh, fabric I've already sewn with crinoline but please when you are making this sleeve don't add any crinoline so it will have this exact fall effect so if this is what you want to learn in this class please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you right there on the thumbnail and on the dress form so I came in with my pepper this way okay and then I folded my pepper I folded my pepper uh, this way. Actually, what I'm making is um, my this sleeve is 360 degrees. So if you are folding 360, this is how to go about it. You first have the first fold, and then you have the second fold. So what I'm doing here, you can actually do it directly on your fabric. So, but because I already have them, um, it's a circle sleeve i've already stitched so i decided to use it okay so i can also link um, the how i made that circle uh, 360 play on the description box below so here i folded my 360 can you see so now the my round arm hole arm hole my round arm hole we are going to attach this sleeve is um 17. So, but since there's going to be an overlap, a little overlap, I'll add plus two. And that will give us 19. So, this 19 inches, I'm going to divide 19 by 6.28. So, once I'm done with that, I will have um, about 2.8 or 9 or thereabouts. So, just take your accurate calculation. So whatever your radius is, that is what you are going to use to cut the round part of this sleeve. So I'll just um, take my radius at 2.8 this way. 2.8 is a, lit a little above 2.75 or 3 quarter. Just a little above 3 quarter. So the sleeve is going to be... I'm going to use the width of my sleeve. You can make any um, length of your sleeve. Okay, so you can make it 8 inches. You can make it 7 inches. So let me just make it 8 inches. So I'll just take the 8, eight inches. What I'm trying to form here is a full circle. So I have the full circle. So I just go ahead and cut my full circle now. So if you want to make the sleeve longer, you can go down more than 8 inches. So I'll just cut out. So this is what this sleeve is going to look like at the end of the day. So I'll just go ahead and open up one part. Once I open up one part, I'll put it together this way. Then I'll come in from the tip of that open end this way. I'll just blend it up. So it depends on how you want to blend it up. But mine, I'll just blend it up this way. So once I've done that, I'll do what? I'll cut off this part. Can you see? So now I'll open up what I have on the circle. So what this is the shape of what you have. So the measurement of what you have on this sleeve now. From here, if you take the measurement right on paper, it should correspond with your your round sleeve. So my round sleeve, like I told you, is seventeen. So I added two inches. So here I have about three and a half inches. Okay, which is still okay for this particular 
uh, dress. So like I said, I already has a, have a circle uh, peplon I made. Okay, I use it for a tutorial. So what I will do is to link how to make this um, circle uh, flay or circle peplon. But I know many of you know how to go about it. So you can see it corresponds exactly with what I have right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to trim off that shape. So I'm going to just follow, let me say from here, because I've already made this, okay? So if you're cutting it on your fabric, you have to do what? Cut your, you have to go ahead and add your seam allowance on this paper. And so, and turn it with your lining. I believe you understand. So I just want to make this tutorial quick and uh, simple. So you can see the shape I have right here. So we'll now go over to the dress form. I'll show you how to... So we, you can see the, uh, the cutting I have. Okay, so this is the pointy part. Can you see? Although you can see I, I already made this um, this peplum. So if you are going to sew now, you have to really round it off. So to attach this on your dress, you are going to first um, start from the lower part. Can you see? Then your shoulder seam line. You will sew from your shoulder seam line. Okay, this way. Can you see that? So you sew it this way. So let me just remove a little of this and put it inside for you to understand it. Can you see? So because I used crinoline to sew this uh, flay, it will not actually give you the exact, because the one we have on the top there does not have crinoline. So when you are sewing this sleeve, please don't attach any crinoline. So it falls for you. You can see how it's falling here. That's how it should. But with this crinoline, crinoline will be making it to stand. So I believe you understand. So this is your sleeve on the shoulder seam line, the pointed part you sew. You just sew it round, okay? So once you get to this point, you are going to stop. And you are going to go into your dress and sew this way. I believe you understand my explanation. So what I will do now... I'll just pretend this is my dress. So that means when you are sewing this your dress, it's either you stitch this part on the where you have the yoke. Okay, you can hand tack it where you have the yoke, or if you can stitch it very neatly, fine. So once you start from your shoulder seam line and sew around, once you get somewhere at the mid arm hole. You carry your sewing and you follow this way into the bodies of the dress. Can you see? So, at the end of the day, this is what you'll be having. So, this part is actually big. It's not supposed to be that big. So, when you are shaping this other part, make sure you shape it well. So, I will just, but I believe you understand what I did now. So, I'll just do something like this okay so it's actually a creative sleeve anyway so but you've understood the point so you can make your sleeve a little bit smaller towards this end so this is how to go about it okay so just make sure you sew from here and go into the sleeve that way so that's how to go about this tree. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming. See you in the next class. Bye.